Okay, we are Display, and we specialize in active content. What do I mean by active content? Well, a lot of the time when you're watching live events on a screen, you're being passive, you're leaning back, you're maybe watching the primary screen while you're doing something else on your secondary screen. So what we do is we create really compelling secondary screen experiences and primary screen graphics to get the audience engaged. Because we know that an engaged audience member is going to drive participation from other audience members. They're going to get more engaged, we're going to build better experiences and ultimately increase revenues. This is how we do it. Our uh, first example here is a guy called Mark Goldbridge and he's got about 3 million subscribers on YouTube. Massive Manchester United fan and every weekend when United play, he hosts a watch along on his channel which gets nearly 100,000 views. So basically, he's taking the audience away from United, away from Sky Sports, away from TNT, onto his own channel, and then commercializing that audience in lots of different ways. So he uses all of our graphics set to bring it all to life. He even charges people to do super chats, like 10 pounds each. About 500 people are spending 10 pounds each to, give their, to get their little piece of content up on screen so that they get their sort of social kudos around it. And he's building in advertising and other pieces. Carl and his team are integrating live scoring stats from the games into these graphics in real time. So he basically is presenting this like ultra professional broadcast using the technology that we're providing him. As well as the fan channels, we also work directly with a lot of sports organizations, including those in the Premier League. And what we found is that by adding the graphics to the broadcast that they do, it's really increasing engagement. And in some cases, it's increased watch times by up to 70%. And that's because the pre-match and the press conference uh, content, which can sometimes be a little bit dry, is now brought to life with stats and with audience participation and sponsorship opportunities as the broadcasts go on. The next one is William Hill, so they're a big um, gambling sort of organization, especially in the UK. Um, we work with them. They came to us with a big challenge of like how they can activate all of their customers in store and sort of get them excited about spending money on different sports than what they normally would. So we worked with them to build an in-retail sort of experience that brought in all the data of the different sports and codes around, specifically fo focusing on some of the, the key football markets. And then we present that data to the customers on the screens within the stores, basically giving them as much information and sort of ideas on what, they, what markets and stuff they can invest in so that hopefully they sort of diversify their portfolio rather than sort of getting stuck into one sort of little area. This is World Archery, and this is an organization that we've just started working with this year. And they chose us to do all of their broadcast graphics, including graphics in venue as well as on their TV channel and online. And they chose us because they saw our pitch as being the real innovative choice. We gave them opportunities to not just show archery, but also to show stories around archery by bringing in audience participation. And what you're seeing here is actually how we helped them with the Olympics. They didn't have rights to any of the content, but they did develop some watch-alongs. So what they did was they got their audience to watch the content with them, to, to watch a scoreboard from a graphic that we generated for them and that they could implement using our software. And the viewers could see where the arrows were hitting, but then get to benefit from the expert analysis and also talk to the experts while the, uh, while the show was going on. So massive success for World Archery over the Olympics. Um, despite not having the, the rights to show the content, but they did build up the audience and they continue to do so. And this is just part of the multi-year deal. Like archery, right? You think, oh, who's going to watch that? But 27,000 people were like on that channel watching this taking place. Because you know when you watch the Olympics and people are commentating archery, you don't really think they know what they're talking about. So instead of watching just the standard sort of broadcast, they would go there with 20,000 other people that knew stuff about archery, and then they could have their really intelligent conversations together in that world, and also get details that they weren't getting from sort of the more generic presentation. Um, this is an example for the 100, so Americans might not know, but cricket is a very popular sport in um, the places that we live. Um, but as, it, as with any draft, this is a draft to basically choose different players for their sort of T20 type teams. As with any draft, it's typically a bit boring, you know, pick a player, move on, that sort of stuff. But the 100 are a really, really good competition because they basically run um, an equal system where whenever there's a men's game, there's a women's game basically together in parallel. And they both get co-broadcast and sort of like sort of equal amount of sort of publicity within that sort of sport. 
Um, instead of basically just publicizing the draft, they used that technology to make it so that all the fans could interact and engage with what's going on at each point, even commenting which different players the team should choose, why they should choose them and stuff like that. So they felt like they were part of the, the narrative and the storytelling. This is about gamifying the game. So we've worked with Sky Sports to develop a boxing scorecard. And what that does is it allows the audience to score the fight as it goes along. So those that know boxing know that the judges' scores are subjective when it comes to boxing. So what this does is it allows the audience of Sky Sports to vote round by round as the rounds finish who they think is going to win. That becomes part of the narrative over the fight because the commentators can then talk about, well, the viewer's verdict says such and such is going to win. And then at the end of the fight, if it goes to points, then that can be compared with the judges to see how close they were, you know, who was being more subjective, where were the differences coming. And that's just one of the ideas that we have, one of the executions we've done for gamifying the game. We also uh, work with fantasy leagues for Professional Dance Corporation. We have predictors and other games as well, including a brand new one we've just launched with the Daily Mail called Team Sheet, which is a daily, uh, can you remember your Premier League team lineup from a random game in the past? I think with all these, like, People want to have a bit of skin in the game when they're watching something. They tend to like go to Twitter and complain, and like, and hopefully they get their sort of personality put out into the world. Whereas in our sort of systems, people can come together and have conversations about what they're feeling without just venting and hoping that this stuff sort of happens. And this is an example. Of out, like we do a lot of work outside of sport as well. We are working on a big project for the U.S. election coming up. But this is sort of a show that sort of is like on daytime sort of TV, but allows their audience to sort of be asking questions in real time, participating and engaging with the hosts. It's simple things that basically keep the audience watching and sort of maintaining attention the whole way through. Okay, and this, the last thing to show you, because I know that we are just about to overrun. Uh, we launched this this weekend with NASCAR, and this is another way of getting that audience participation in and in getting the graphics to be a bit more dynamic. So this was a... A prototype that we ran with them, in-car graphics, but now with um, sidebars and lower thirds and sponsorship opportunities to really elevate that content and help people to take part. So we own the technology, we deliver a complete user experience and empower our partners to give their audience more. It's all about active content and building those communities through broadcast. Thank you very much.